Hello. Thanks for doing a debunk on Natasha Nova. I also did one similar, and yeah, I made the mistake of uh, debunking a trick. I guess I've always had a little bit of trouble, uh, especially when regarding uh, when, especially when doing debunks, uh, largely because of the fact that um, oh, I should probably introduce myself beforehand. Hi, I'm the practitioner, bachelor of science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, uh, magician, and parapsych researcher. Um, uh, technical, agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. Um, I should also, um, yeah. Anyway, so like I said, um, good work on the de uh, good work on the debunk performing the exact same effect. I've had to do that with a guy called Godspeed, one who, don't ask me how the hell he's managed to do this, but he's com he's completely almost hoodwinked everybody who's commented on his videos. But anyway, I digress. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. Call you skip. Uh, anyway, um, the other reason I'm doing this video. Is because of the fact that you said uh, um, you hate people who claim, you know, who, who abuse magic tricks or something that they're not, and any spoon bender or mentalist who believes that they have psychic ability. I need to uh, use this video uh, to clarify something. Now, hopefully, uh, the bulk of uh, now, uh, this is not directly an address to you. This is also an address to anybody who might be watching this video. Um, I've posted videos a while back, and I'm still in, uh, ongoing uh, studies about this, but. Um, I did some studies a while back um, testing uh, the hypothesis. Uh, this was purely a uh, an experiment in something that somebody had suggested um, on James Randi's biography on Wikipedia. It says that somebody once made the accusation to James Randi that he was actually using psychic powers and not um, not revealing that he was using real magic and uh, claiming it was just covered over by stage illusions and the like. Now, I myself would scoff at that. Okay, I hate to say it, but it's uh, well, no, actually, no, I don't hate to say it. That is a you know, it's a it's a it's a superfluous claim. It's it, it's it's a spurious way of a trying an ad hominem attack. Nonetheless, nonetheless, I wanted to jump. Nonetheless, though, just to make sure if there wasn't anything to it, I did in fact attempt. Um, I did attempt to design control again. Being a magician, I know how to. Uh, again, it's it's easier for me to set up controls uh, under scientific conditions to avoid, um, you know, the like. So what I did was I designed various uh, uh, telepathy, uh, telepathy, clairvoyance, retropsychokinesis, you know, various experiments of actual, you know, just just to see if there's actually, you know, as a magician, if I had any psychic ability besides that which I knew of the tricks. And I'm not, you know, I eliminated cold reading and the like. Um, the concern here is I want to be perfectly clear about this, is that I have posted the results of these up on YouTube and, pre and previous of my videos, and a paper, um, I've already written a paper about the telepathy experiments which were posted in my look into the psychic update videos, and that's now currently uh, being reviewed at the Journal of Scientific Exploration. Um, I've also had Michael Shermer do, do some reviews on it, and yada, 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 so again, now the thing is, I want to be perfectly clear about something, okay? I want, uh, I can't stress this enough. I have had statistically significant results under every study I've undertaken. Now, I want to be perfectly clear on this, okay? They have been controlled against magician's fraudulent techniques, but, and here's the but, I don't, I'm not automatically going to say that I have psychic capability. Just because I got a significant result, and just because when I've tested other people, they have had significant results too, does not necessarily mean that there is psychic capability. And even if there is, I want people to be, and this is some, I'm going to stress this again because I've stressed this before in other videos. I've said it in some of my other videos that given the amount of evidence there, you know, there might be something worth looking into in terms of telepathy and other stuff given the current peer-reviewed studies. However, I want to be perfectly clear on this. There is a very, very major difference between something that you might see uh, somebody doing in the street like a macro thing and something that you might see like a very small effect size under controlled scientific conditions, okay? Very, very different kettles of fish. So, if, so if you, uh, so, and this is to all my viewers, and I am the exact same way. If you see somebody doing something that they claim is psychic, test them first. Okay, um, I am agreeing with, you know, I agree with my with my uh, with my fellow magician uh, here, um, with my fellow colleague here. Um, this issue is assume, you know, on a case. Take, take psychics and other people like that on a case-by-case -case basis. But, and here's the but, um, I've already stressed this per pertaining to professional psychics, you know, uh, um, fortune tellers, astrologers, that sort of thing. Um, I've, already, I've already strongly pointed this out before, but um, 
when you actually go to one of these people, if you ever go to one, bring a portable uh, scientific ESP test with you and make sure that there is no way that they can fraud you at it. And um, make sure there is no way they can defraud you at it. And take it on a case-by-case -case basis, but make sure that they're willing to be tested. If they, if they are tested and they don't show significant results, or, and here's the or, if they uh, are not willing to be tested, then chances are they are a fraud and you should steer the hell clear of them. Uh, and I'm going to make this same statement categorically for any telekinetic, any uh, proponent, psychic, or, uh, or spoon bender, mentalist, mind reader, fortune teller, anything pertaining to paranormal, okay? I've already made this point before. Now, I want, and I also want to be perfectly clear, I want to be very clear about, uh, about what I've said before about my significant results, or if people want access to the independent sources or the like of, you know, of other um, of tests that I've undertaken. Uh, or have been tested by ind independent other people. Say, for example, my retro psychokinesis uh, test, the, the test I took at uh, formulab.com. I want to be perfectly clear. These are statistically significant results. They are not necessarily proof of a psi phenomena. They could be an extra, there could be an extra um, variable which I failed to take into account or they did. It's also possible that I just simply happened to get a statistical blip. In the case of my retro psychokinesis experiments, that is entirely likely or entirely possible, I should say, um, you know, because it is a true random number generator. But um, anyway, I digress, but you get my point. Um, you know, it may be possible for a magician to also have psychic capability, um, but it's highly unlikely. I guess my point is that I agree that, you know, uh, uh, mentalists who believe that they actually have some sort of uh, power, I would recommend getting empirically tested first, and even then, still take anything about believing you have actual psychic powers with a grain of salt. And anything which even remotely resembles a mentalist effect, do not believe that, that you are using uh, psychic powers on. That includes cold reading. Okay. Um, if you're looking uh, to, if you're looking to see something about, um, if you're looking to see something about uh, about doing, you know, seeing about distinguishing possibilities of picking up attributes versus uh, cold reading, try to find a scientifically controlled remote viewing test. There are not actually. I don't think there are any out there, but right, right now. But try to uh, try to get one of those and use it in conjunction with a scientifically controlled double-blind ESP test. Use the two in conjunction with each other to avoid, uh, you know, and both of them randomly selected by a random number generator um, to avoid uh, problems. Anyway, you get my idea. Um, so anyway, uh, to the person I'm making this video reply to, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Um, I'm basically just trying to cover this little aspect because I've heard accusations that Darren Brown might be using psychic capabilities without even recognizing it, and the same with James Randi and yada yada yada. Um, from you know, from psi proponents, I've heard uh, well, not from the parapsychological community, but from uh, you know some psi believers who aren't really critically thinking. I've heard this argument before, so I wanted to shed some light on the possibilities of the actual issue, but. In the end, I still agree with you. I'm still skeptical of the whole thing, and um, I do admit that in, in relation to actual parapsych research, I think more, I think more scientific research, more rigorous scientific research, is actually needed by both skeptics and proponents. But uh, my beliefs on the actual scientific evidence and scientific research, and what you're likely to see in day-to-day -day events, are two very different kettles of fish, um, and I'm still skeptical about both. Um, just on the scientific end. I think that there's uh, that it's worth looking into more. That's my only difference. I'm not saying that either one exists. I'm just simply saying that uh, I think that there, I think that there is a, a statistical anomaly worth looking into in the scientific end just to find out what the cause of that is. But in terms of everyday stuff, I doubt that any of uh, any of the uh, of the stuff that you see from day to day is psychic. Um, and if you come across a fortune teller or anybody else who's claiming that, um, <laughs> test them first is my is my bottom line. And even then, still remain highly skeptical. Okay, that's my point. Toodles, uh, keep up the good work on the debugs.